So today we are at the Steinheim impact crater in uh, southern Germany. This is about 40 kilometers to the southwest of the Ries crater and it's one sixth of the diameter. So everything scales. We've come here today to see a smaller impact crater and it's rather well preserved morphology. So behind me is the impact crater itself and in the distance the trees in the distance mark out the outer rim of the crater and in the center of the uh, crater structure is an uplifted mound about 50 meters high uh, which represents the deformation caused by the impact crater itself. Um, a lot of that information is explained now on a, a geopark sign here and we can see that the uplift has caused 300 or 400 meters of uplift of the sedimentary rocks into the, up, into the central part of the crater. Um, there is a very nice museum in the Steinheim crater which shows a lot of uh, fossil information and this locality was known probably firstly for fossils um, long before it was known as an impact crater. It was known for a long time that it was a circular lake and the lake gave rise to um, lots of calcareous deposits, reef deposits around the central part um, and an abundance of wildlife including um, a lot of carnivores, um, also um, rather delicate preserved fossils, a lot of shells and fish and at the time shortly after the impact crater 14.7 million years ago this must have developed into a lake which was a precious resource of water in an otherwise fairly dry area. So the idea is that um, animals came to this region to um, drink the water presumably and uh, hence carnivores developed an ability to attack those things. So um, there's a lovely walking trail that you can do around the Steinheim crater. It's perfect for demonstrating how impact craters have formed in their morphology. Close up, you can find shatter cones here to collect some of the key indicators that an impact has taken place. And uh, the museum itself offers um, a place to go for uh, refuge um, and uh, to see some of the better specimens that have been collected here over the years. As you come into the impact crater, the road, the main road in, comes past a very good exposure of a cross section through an impact crater wall and that's part of the lower part of the hill we're standing on here. So this is called the Burgstall, B-U-R-G-S-T-A-L-L. -L. And immediately below us we have a beautiful cross section through disrupted and broken uh, limestones which have been shoved up and outwards from their previous position deeper down within the crater to reside in this crater wall structure. Um, and those include remnants of shatter cones again and uh, shocked quartz is the other thing which occurs here in abundance which has been found in drill cores in the center of the crater. So the shocked quartz and the shatter cones are the two key pieces of information. Uh, the, sh the shock quartz contains higher pressure polymorphs of quartz like coazite and stishovite. So these are um, unambiguous proof that very high pressures were required to make those mineral changes in the rocks.